Thank you for clicking this video. Today we will discuss TVXQ's career journey. If you are a K-pop fan since the early 2000s or a fan of artists from SM Entertainment, you must know one of the legendary boy bands TVXQ, Tong Fang Xin Chi, or commonly called DBSK, Dong Bang Shin Ki. Korean boy bands as the initial way of K-pop are becoming known among Asia. Their career journey is full of twists and turns from each of its members. For that, watch the video and before that, those who have just stopped by this channel, don't forget to click subscribe, comment and like thank you. TVXQ was formed by SM Entertainment around 2003. The personnel were drawn from different auditions held in different years. This causes them to experience differences in the duration of the training period. After a long debate about the name of the boy band, these five personnel finally united SM Entertainment and formed the name TVXQ. At the beginning of the debut, TVXQ consisted of five handsome men namely Yuno, know, Miki Yuchen Zaya Junsu, Max Chongmin and Jae Jung. We start from the oldest, namely Yuno. Know. We start with a leader you know by his real name Yung Yunho, who was born in the city of Gwangju, South Korea on February 6, 1986. With a height of 184 centimeters, at TVXQ Yunho was chosen to be the leader of the group because he has a good leadership spirit and is also the main dancer in TVXQ. Yunho was actually born to parents who could be said to be capable. But due to the economic bankruptcy of his family when he was a teenager Yunho helped his family by working part-time jobs where he also had to pay off family debts and pay for his sister's education. At the age of 13, he joined SM Entertainment after winning first place in the SM auditions, where Yunho showed his dancing talent in the auditions and he signed a contract with SM in 2000 to become a trainee. More or less Yunho underwent a trainee for two years at SM. Mickey Yu Chen with his real name Park Yu Chen who was born on June 4, 1986. Yu Chen was born and raised in Seoul, South Korea, until his family moved to the United States when he was in sixth grade. An entertainment company Brothers Entertainment asked Yu Chen to return to Korea because he saw the talent he had. Not long after, Yu Chen auditioned for SM Entertainment and passed. Yu Chen was the last member to join the group and underwent a trainee training period of less than a year at SM. Zaya Junsu was born on December 15, 1986. Junsu was the first member to join the group TVXQ, he became a trainee at SM. In the age of 11 and his first contract started on February 12, 2000. Initially Junsu trained to be a solo singer. And also Junsu was placed in an R&B trio with trainees Sung Min and Yoon Hyuk, now both are members of Super Junior. While still in elementary school, he was a member of the dance group, SRD, which showcased his singing, rapping, and dancing skills, along with his childhood friend Yoon Hyuk from Super Junior. Hiro Jae Jung with real name Kim Jae Jung who was born on January 26, 1986. Jae Jung was actually born as the youngest of nine children in the Han family. However, due to economic limitations, Jae Jung's parents allowed the Kim family to adopt him. Jae Jung was cared for and raised in the family until he was 15 years old. In 2001, Jae Jung ventured to leave for Seoul to take part in an audition held by SM Entertainment. His efforts were not in vain where he won first place among 5,000 participants. Jae Jung finally moved to Seoul without anyone accompanying him. He experienced a tough life during his training period. Jae Jung had worked part-time as a shop assistant, delivering newspapers and fast food. He did all of this in for his living expenses while migrating to Seoul. He was also chosen to be the lead vocal for the boy band TVXQ.
Max Chongmin with the real name Sim Chongmin who was born on February 18, 1988. Chongmin who was 15 years old at that time, was the fourth and youngest member to join TVXQ. Not only that, Chongmin's singing position as a tenor or high voice in his group. Finally with these five members, TVXQ officially debuted in 2003. TVXQ debuted and appeared in public for the first time on December 26, 2003 at the BOA and Britney Spears collaboration concert, where they performed their debut single Hug and an a cappella version of the song Oh Holy Night with BOA. Meanwhile, TVXQ released its single MV Tittle Hug on January 14, 2004. The single debuted at number 37 on the monthly MIAK charts and sold less than 5,000 copies. On February 6, 2004, TVXQ officially debuted on television through the music program Music Bank with the singles Hug and Oh Holy Night. On June 24, 2004 TVXQ released their second single The Way You Are, which landed at number 2 on the MIAK charts. According to MIAK, The Way You Are and Triangle were the top 10 best-selling songs in 2004. Then in 2005 TVXQ reissued the single Rising Sun and was very in demand in the music market and managed to gain TVXQ's popularity throughout Korea. Inspired by the success of BOA's music career in Japan, TVXQ also ventured into the Japanese music market under the AVEX Group Japan Company at the end of 2004. The members learned Japanese and moved to Japan to record their first single. Until now, it can be said that TVXQ is the most successful K-pop group in Japan. TVXQ had attracted international attention in the late 2000s decade. After the TVXQ group achieved success in the Korean music industry through the album Oh Young Ban Hap which was released in 2006. Oh Young Ban Hap also managed to occupy the first place in various Korean music charts. With a total album sales of 349,317 copies, making this album the best-selling album as well as the first best-selling record in 2006. At the 2006 MKMF Music Festival, TDXQ won four awards which included Best Artist of the Year, Best Group Net.com and Net Plus Mobile People's Choice Award. At the 16th Seoul Music Festival, TDXQ again won three awards including the biggest award at the Festival Day Sang, Best Artist, and TDXQ also won the Bonsang Awards at the 2006 SBS Gao Awards. Again, TDXQ won the Day Sang and Bonsang Awards, which is the highest award for Korean music. TDXQ added to its success by releasing a song called Miraditch in 2008. Following in the footsteps of previous albums, only three days after the album was released Miraditch managed to rank first in music sales records in 2008. With total sales of 307,974 copies, making Miraditch's album Korea's best-selling album of 2008. On November 15, 2008, the album won the Best Album of the Year 2008 MKMF Korean Music Festival Awards. It didn't stop there. In early January 2009, the total sales of this album reached 502,837 copies, making this album the first Korean album to achieve sales of more than 500,000 copies in the last six years. In October, TVXQ continued their music activities in Japan by releasing the single Jumin, Miritich, which is the Japanese version of Miritich's song. The single again topped the Oricon music charts, 
breaking the record for number one singles that TVXQ had achieved with their previous singles. TVXQ took part in celebrating New Year's Eve by appearing at the prestigious Kohaku Yudagasen Music Festival in Japan. TVXQ became the first Korean artist to ever attend this high-class music event. The honor of being invited to perform at the Kohaku Music Festival is very hard to come by. Only top J-pop artists and singers have the opportunity to be able to perform at the event. Even today, the opportunity to perform at the Kohaku Festival is considered a major milestone in the career path of a musician in Japan. Unfortunately, despite their success TVXQ faces internal conflicts. Boyband TVXQ split since October 2009, due to a lawsuit filed by their three popular members, Jae Jung, Yu Chun, and Junsu. The three felt that TVXQ's 13-year contract with SM Entertainment was too long, that terms were changed without their knowledge and also mentioned an unfair distribution of income. Roughly speaking, TVXQ got a made contract made by SM Entertainment. On October 5, 2009, the Seoul Central District Court granted the three demands by issuing a temporary contract decision and all TVXQ activities in Korea were stopped. In November 2009 Yanho and Chan Min released a statement of support to SM Entertainment and urged the other three members to resolve issues with their management as soon as possible if they wanted to continue their career as members of TVXQ. As a result of the legal case, the concert for Miritich's tour in Shenzhen had to be cancelled one week before the scheduled date. The concert ended with TVXQ's Yu Chun, Jae Jung, and Junsu making a name for his boy band group JYJ with another agency. Not remaining silent, SM Entertainment sued JYJ back by asking for contract compensation. In June 2010, Jae Jung, Yu Chun, Junsu filed a lawsuit against SM Entertainment to terminate their exclusive contract. Following the lawsuit, SM Entertainment attempted to report JYJ and their new agency, CJS. While Yunho and Chang Min remained silent during the legal process and were not allowed to perform in Korea beforehand. In 2010, Chang Min and Yunho were allowed to return to appear on TV. TVXQ officially became a duo group, namely Chang Min and Yunho. While Yu Chun, Junsu, Jae Jung with the group named JYJ. This legal case between SM and JYJ ended in 2012, where both parties reached an agreement. In 2011 TVXQ returned as a duo with the release of their Korean pop album, Keep Your Head Down, although having lost all three of their members. <laughs> TVXQ still topped the number one song ranking on the JN chart two weeks after its release. Their full Japanese album Tone was released on September 28, 2011, selling 205,000 copies in its first week and reached number one on the Oricon daily, weekly, and monthly charts. This is the first time in the history of TVXQ that they have reached number one on all three rankings of the Oricon charts. Since their comeback in 2011, TVXQ has sold over 1 million copies in Korean album sales and Japanese single and album sales. According to Oricon, TVXQ is the non-Japanese singer with the most number one singles on the Oricon singles chart and the non-Japanese singer with the most CD single sales in Japan. Okay, that's the career journey of King of K-pop TVXQ, what do you think about TVXQ? Comment below.